our next topic of discussion is reaction rate and uh, reversible reactions in this topic we are going to discuss rates of reaction conditions that affect reaction rates reversible changes and finally we shall talk about factors affecting chemical equilibrium so today our first subtopic is a rate of reaction or simply reaction rate Consider the following observations. Keeping food in fridge prevents it from going bad. Cooking ugali takes about 15 minutes. In the test for chloride ions, when silver nitrate and sodium chloride solutions are mixed, a white precipitate appears immediately. Chemical reactions proceed at different rates as seen, as seen in the examples that we've mentioned above. Some are extremely fast. Some moderate, and others slow. Some chemical changes are described below are the ones that are slow. Let's look at the, the chemical processes that are slow and uh, the ones that are beat first growth of plant that is a slow process or chemical change and it takes years digestion of food slow Rusting of iron, a slow process. Boiling beans, also a process that takes some time. First one, burning of grass, very fast. Burning of hydrogen, a first process. Reaction between sodium and water takes place very fast. And remember that is called water. F frying an egg. So we've realized that uh, there are some chemical changes that are slow and others are fast. So knowing the rate at which chemical reaction takes place is of great importance to a chemist. A chemist uh, try to control reaction rates so that the desired results are conveniently achieved. Uncontrolled reactions 
can result into a dangerous situation like explosion uh for example when we don't know the rate of uh, burning of hydrogen then obviously there will be resultant explosion so it is important uh, to a chemist to know the rate of a given reaction the time that a given reaction takes to reach completion so that we minimize the dangers that will be associated with that for example in a process industry it is important to know the reaction rates and the conditions that affect them so as to minimize production uh, cost to maximize the production and also to minimize the danger associated with the production in medicine it is important to know how much time a particular chemical takes in the body before it is completely broken down and that is what uh, helps uh, the doctors to know the time interval from one given uh, take of drug to another time so you realize that some are taken twice in a day some are taken just once in the whole day so that again uh, helps uh, them doctors to really understand the rate that a given medicine uh, take to react in engineering it is important to know the rate of combustion of a fuel when uh, uh, di designing an engine and so on so in any chemical reaction Reactants are converted into products. Reaction rate tells how fast or how slow the reaction is taking place. And this is indicated by how much of the reactants are getting consumed and how much of the products are formed. How much reactants get consumed and how much products are formed. within a given time this implies that rate of reaction is expressed as rate of reaction is expressed as change in amount of a substance over time taken change in concentration of a substance over the time taken remember it is amount or uh, concentration 